Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to discuss the height of the tide, the height of the tide at any time, basically anywhere in the world. So what we need to do is we need to know that we're going to use a reference book called the Tide and Current Tables, and we're going to use the tide section of the tables. If you have the uh, NMI nav book, it's the yellow section of your book. If you have just the regular Coast Guard book, then it's the tide tables of the book. So what we do is we given a question by the Coast Guard to determine the height of the tide somewhere. So our, for our example is going to be that we're going to determine the height of the tide at Dennisport, Massachusetts, October 28, 1983, and our time is going to be 914 Eastern Standard Time and the chart depth 14 feet. So what we need to do is at the top of our paper, we're going to put our information. So we're going to have Dennisport, Massachusetts, And we're going to be there on October 28, 1983. And our time of arrival is 9.14 Eastern Standard Time. And the charted depth, which I just used charted depth, in, and the charted depth for the area is going to be 14 feet. So, given, that's our given information. What we need to do, our step one is, we've put our information at the top of the page, and we're going to set up a sheet to determine what our factors are going to be to get the, uh, the times of the high and low water in Dennisport. So, our information for that comes from the table two, I call it the cheat sheet, but table two is in the, in the uh, tide and current tables, in the tide tables and it's going to give us some information when we look it up. First of all, on the left-hand side of our paper, we're going to put our substation, which is going to be Dennisport in this case, or I refer to it as our destination. Where are we going? And, in our, and then we're going to have a reference port. We're going to be referred to another Another, sub, another station somewhere, another, another port where we're going to take our times from. Not every, every port in the country or in the world has a, a, is a reference port. We, we determine our tides based upon somewhere else. So Dennis Port is our substation, our destination. And we have our reference port from the top of table three. We get some information in table three. It's going to give us a number. It's going to give us the place, the position and latitude and longitude, the differences in time and height ranges, and uh, mean tide level. What we're concerned about is the differences in time and height. So in the index to the tide tables, we would look up Dennis Port. Dennis Port would be given a number. The number for Dennis Port is 1027. That's the number we're going to use to look up in table two to find out the corrections for Dennis Port. So when we go into table two, we look up Dennis Port and we find out that it has a number of corrections. And those corrections are going to read plus one hour and one minute. plus 36 minutes and then they're going to give us a correction time for the high and low water it's an asterisk of 0 0.36 for high water and 0 0.36 for low water and the asterisk is a little special thing that we'll talk about in a minute the information comes under in table 2 the differences section and we're going to get the differences for the, the height of the tide in time for high water and low water and the height of the tide in feet
for high water and low water. And these corrections are what we're going to use. As we look up the page from that area, we're going to find out that our reference port is listed at near the top of the page. And in this case, it says for our reference port on Boston. And it gives us a page number. And the page number for Boston is page 36. That's where the, 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 the high and lows for all of the dates and the months for Boston start. So we go to page 36. We look up in page 36, and we're going to find Boston. And when we find Boston, we're going to come up with the tide table. And the tide table for Boston on October 28, 1983, gives us a time and a height of high and low water. So the times for October 28th read 0037, 8.7 feet and 2.7 meters. We don't care about meters, we're doing everything in feet. The next tide is 0939, and it says a 1.0. And then it gives us meters, which, again, we don't care about. So that's going to be a low tide. The next time is 1554, and it's 9.9, .9, big number, high tide. And then the next number is 2222, negative 0 0.1, and that's a low tide. So we have four tides on that date. We need to find a time that comes before and after our estimated arrival time. So we look again, and we're going to find that the earlier time, the time that's going to come before, is going to be 337, and that's a high tide. So we put here under the high, 337, and the high tide height is 8.7 feet. The next time that comes on the other side of our arrival time is going to be 939. 939 is a low tide, so 939, and we know it's a low tide because it's the littler number, and we're going to use that time of 1.0. And we have our information. Now, I'm going to go over here, and I like to do a little visual line, and I like to put the water. And that's going to be the charted depth of 14 feet. So from our chart, we looked on the chart and we found out that 14 feet is the, is the mean lower low for, for Dennis Port. So we have to figure out what the height of the water is going to be when we show up at 914. So we've got all our information. Now we do the little section that I affectionately call do the math. So our math tells us that we're going to add one hour and 37 minutes. Uh, 337 plus one hour and one minute is going to be 38, 438. A little check to make sure that that still comes before our 914 arrival time, which it does. This math, 9 and 6 is 15. Carry 1, 7, and 975. There is no such time. 60 minutes to an hour. So we're going to have 15, and because we have an extra hour, we're going to bring our hour over here. So we're, we're going to have a, high, a low tide of 1015. Does our time still fit in between here of 914? Yes, it does. And that's what we need to make sure that we're fitting on either side of our 915 time. Now, when we started, I said the asterisk was a little bit special. In most cases, we would have a plus or a minus here. But in the case that we're using with, uh, with Dennis Port, we have a multiplier. An asterisk means multiply. So we're going to take this number, 8.7, multiply it times 0.36. We can do it on our calculator, but I can do it long here. 6 times 7 is 42, carry the 4. 6 times 8 is 48, and 4 is 52. 3 times 7 is 21, carry the 2. 3 times 8 is 24, 26. I have three decimal places, 2, 3, 11, 3. 
one, two, three decimal places. So my high tide height is 3.1 feet. I'll just round it. In the case here, six times zero is zero. Six times one is six. Three times zero is zero. Three times one is three. I do the math and add up. Three decimal places, 0.36. And what I'll do is I'll just round this up to 0.4. So my height of high tide is going to be 3.1 feet. My height of low tide is going to be 0.4 feet. So that's above the charted depth. So if the charted depth was 14 feet and high tide is 3.1 feet above the charted depth, then if I just do the math, 14 plus 3.1, the height of high tide is going to be 17.1 feet. Low tide is 0.4, and this, since this is a positive number, low tide is going to be 0.4 feet above the charted depth, or 14.4 feet. That's my high tide, that's my low tide, and this is going to occur at 438, and this is going to occur at 1015, and our target time is 914, so we're getting there somewhere between the, 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 the high and the low. The tide is dropping as we're arriving. So what we want to know is how high will the water be? So we have a range. How much distance is there from high tide to low tide over this period of time? Well, if I do the math and subtract 17.1 for high tide, minus the low tide of 14.4, 11 minus 4, borrow, is 7, 6 minus 4. I have a range of tide of 2.7 feet. So now we need, to, we need to figure out what is the height going to be when we get there at 914. It's 17.1 at high. At 438, and it's 14.4 at 1015. But the question is, what will the height be at 914? The next step we need to do is we need to go into the book in the in this in the section in the back called Table Three. And Table Three is going to give us some information. It's going to ask us to find three things. On the left-hand side of the table, it asks us to find the duration of the tide. The duration. How long did the tide last? And that's going to come from table three. So the duration. How long did the tide last? The next thing it asks us to find is the time to the nearer tide. So we just call that the time to the nearer tide. We call it the TNT. How long did the tide last, and what's the time closer to our tide? The third thing it asks us in Table 3 is to find out the range of tide. How far did the tide go from high to low water or low to high water over a period of time? We did that. We found out that our range was 2.7 feet. The duration, the time and distance and time between high water and low water. So we do a little math. The big number goes on the top, it's 1015. The little number goes on the bottom, 438. I can't do this math. I can't subtract 38 minutes from 15 minutes, so I have to borrow. And once again, I'm borrowing an hour. So I'm bringing 60 minutes over here. That's going to turn that into 75. 75 minus 38, I can certainly do. Borrow 1. 15 minus 8 is 7. 6 minus 3 is 3. 37 minutes. 9 minus 4 is 5. 5 hours and 37 minutes is our duration. The time to the nearest tide. What's our time? Our time is 9.14. That's the time we intend to get to Dennisport. What time is nearer to it? What time is closer? The closer time is the low tide, 10.15. So we just do the math and subtract. Again, the big number on the top, the little number on the bottom. We subtract, 5 minus 4 is 1, zero min 1 minus 1 is 0, 10 minus, 
nine is one. So our time to the nearest tide is one hour and one minute. Now we have the three pieces of information. We go into table three and we look at table three and this is where it becomes just a little bit tricky. But in table three on the left hand side of the table, you'll see it says duration of the rise and fall. At the top of that section of the table, it says the time from the nearest high or low water. So our duration is five hours and 37 minutes. The closest time to that that we can find is six hours. So we're gonna take six hours, put our finger there. We're gonna run across to, for our time to the nearest tide, which we had was one hour and one minute. As we go across that section, we come to one hour, the closest time, and we keep our finger in that column and we go down to the correction to the height. On the left hand side of that section it says range. Our range is 2.7. The closest number to that is 2.5. We're going to come across that and where our fingers meet we find a correction factor of 0 0.2. So the correction factor is 0 0.2. Now what do we do with that correction? At the bottom of the chart, at the bottom of the table, there are two sentences. It says, when the nearest tide is high water, subtract the correction from the height of the high tide. When the nearest tide is low water, add the correction to the height of the low tide. Well, our nearest time was low water. TNT, we use 10, low water, low water, and it says, Nearest tide is low, add the correction to the height of the low tide. So we take our correction, the height of the low tide was 14.4, so 14.4 plus our correction of 0 0.2 is going to give us 14.6, and that's going to be 14.6 feet of water at 9.14 on 10-28-83. The height of the tide in Dennisport, Massachusetts, October 28, 1983 at 9.14 Eastern Standard Time.